Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome to another grocery haul video. If you're new here, I follow the Weight Watchers program, so I do share the Weight Watcher points, but I also share calories on my channel as well. So I have a huge Aldi haul for you this week. I did get just a few things at Walmart that I have over here, so I'll start with those, but for the most part, this was all Aldi, and I got all this and I couldn't even fit my meat, so back there I have all my meat. So I'm gonna go through this as quickly as I can and share all the points, the calories, but as I always say, obviously I can make a mistake or when I scan it, it could come up wrong. So always just double check and scan things yourself. I have already filmed, not a meal prep, but kind of like a food prep. So I'm probably gonna put the grocery haul video up first though, just because it's a lot easier to edit. I still have to do a voiceover for the food prep. So just keep that in mind that my videos might be a little bit out of order for the next couple weeks. So, all right, down here with the Walmart, I got some Dan and Light and Fit yogurt. This kind is the strawberry cheesecake and the toasted coconut vanilla. Those are two points for a container or 80 calories. And then I needed some more light mayonnaise. This is Hellman's 1.4, one tablespoon. If you have two tablespoons, it becomes three points. I also got this part skim mozzarella cheese, three points for an ounce. And if you're counting calories, it's 70 calories for an ounce. I think I forgot to give you the calories on the mayonnaise, 35 calories for one tablespoon. And then the last thing I got at Walmart was some ground turkey breast. This is zero points on Weight Watchers and four calories, 120 calories for four ounces. So that was it from Walmart. I did get some water, which my husband already has out in the garage, and also some Diet Coke. So that's already out there. So from Aldi, I got a big thing of yellow potatoes. They actually had these ones on sale. So for Weight Watchers, uh, potatoes, you can have a four ounce potato for two points or a six ounce potato for three. And calories on potatoes, 110 calories for a 5.2 ounce potato. So fruits and vegetables, I don't give calories because obviously it just depends how much you have of it. And for Weight Watchers, the majority of this is zero points. Unless you're on the diabetic plan, then your fruits will not be zero. So I'm just gonna skim through these. I got a couple things of baby carrots. I love carrots. I got a couple things of white mushrooms. I'm thinking I might make some crab stuffed mushrooms. I did get some crab too. I prefer the imitation crab. I just like the taste of it better than the big lump crab. Unless it's actual crab legs, then that I prefer the crab legs. So a couple things of mushrooms, a thing of cilantro. A lot of you know we are divided in this house on cilantro. I love it. My husband hates it. Uh, I got, I think, three things, packages of zucchini. I go through zucchini a lot. I usually just roast a whole bunch of it and have that throughout the week. I love zucchini with my breakfast. I also got some tomatoes on the vine, some mandarins, some Vidalia sweet onions, some strawberries, which I actually grabbed those. I wasn't going to get strawberries this week, but um, I knew my grandson was coming over. So I went ahead and got those and then he came over and didn't even end up eating them. So, and then I also got some bell peppers. I got some asparagus, a couple English cucumbers. I really like these because they don't have the seeds inside. And then some green onions and some bananas. So this had five bananas, but my granddaughter had one and my grandson had one. So we just have three of those now. And I think that's it pretty much for fruits and vegetables. And then I got a great big thing of spring mix. I pretty much go through one of those a week. I love like huge salads for lunches. I've really been enjoying that. And then I got some fat free half and half. For this kind, you can have, I think it's like six, five tablespoons for one point. And then if you want zero, it's anything under two. So one and seven eighths of a tablespoon is zero. So you could just weigh out the grams. And then for calories, 20 calories for two tablespoons. I also got some zero sugar French vanilla creamer. We usually use the coffee make kind from Walmart, but I get this kind once in a while. We really like this, but they don't always have it. They only carry it sometimes. One tablespoon is zero points and three tablespoons is one point. And for calories, it's 15 calories for a tablespoon. 
Fit and Active 50 calorie orange juice, obviously 50 calories for eight ounces or two points for eight ounces. So for me with orange juice, I don't usually drink a lot of orange juice. I prefer like having an actual mandarin or a whole orange. But when I do drink orange juice, it's maybe half a cup at a time. So I only have to count it for one point. Back here, I have some 90 second quinoa and brown rice. That is three points for a half a cup. And the calories on this are weird. It is 240 calories for a cup. So the half a cup would be 120. I got a couple of those. And then I also got some long grain and wild. This kind is four points for a half a cup. And then the calories on this one are 250 calories for a serving, which is one cup. So it would be 125 for the half a cup on that one. And then I got some real bacon bits, one tablespoon for one point and 30 calories for a tablespoon. I got some reduced fat Mexican style cheese, quarter cup is four points and 90 calories. All right, I got a couple of things of pretzels. I got some pretzel slims for those. I like to just have a two point snack. So when you scan them, it comes out three points for the 28 grams, but you can do 21 grams for two points. And then the same with the pub style, you can do 22 grams for two points. But for calories, it's 110 calories for 28 grams. And then for the pubs, it's 120 calories for the 28 grams. So if you're new, the reason that you hear me talk about grams a lot is because I usually weigh everything on a scale. So to me, it just comes out more accurate. And then I also got some chocolate puffs back there. So my husband is a chocoholic and he doesn't normally eat this kind of cereal for breakfast, but he likes this for like a nighttime snack once in a while. So it is one cup is six points on that one and calories, 140 calories. I got some oats. For these it's half a cup for three points and 150 calories i also got some black beans there those are zero points for half a cup and i think like 100 so 100 110 calories i also got some black olives these are four points for one nope these are one point for four and calories for olives is 30 calories I got a whole bunch of skipjack tuna for this kind. Of course, on Weight Watchers, tuna is zero and it is 110 calories per can. And then I got some white potatoes. I got some sliced and some whole. For these, you can have three quarters of a cup for two points. And for calories, it's 60 calories for two thirds of a cup, or you can have the entire can for 160 calories. All right, then back there, some whole grain spaghetti. We absolutely love that kind of spaghetti. It's really good. It doesn't taste like, you know how sometimes some of the whole grain pasta can taste almost like cardboard. I've had that for some of them. This kind, honestly, we can't even tell. So for a two, two ounce portion of that, it's five points and I think 200 and yeah, 200 calories. I also got a couple of things of the marinara that we like for this kind. You can have two thirds of a cup for one point and half a cup is 50 calories. This is the Aldi version of the, what is it? Suddenly salad in Walmart. So I got a thing of this. We've had this before. It's pretty good. You can have half a cup as packaged for five points or 180 calories. So obviously whatever you add to it, you've got to add. I just like to have those um, in the summertime when we have cookouts and things. I went through the aisle I normally stay out of and I did get this pineapple slicer, a lot of you have been telling me that I need to get a pineapple slicer. So I did go ahead and get that. And I actually have a pineapple left from last week that I need to get cut up. So I'm gonna use that. And then I got some peanut butter and jelly for this peanut butter. It is two tablespoons is six points and calories 180. My husband is real picky on peanut butter. He's like a peanut butter and jelly guy. And he's usually really picky, but he said this kind is really good. So I've been buying that. And then some strawberry preserves. These are three points for a tablespoon and 50 calories for a tablespoon. And then I got some Dijon mustard. I also got some sloppy Joe mix. This is pretty good. We had this last week. Um, we did some sloppy Joe's, but we used ground chicken. This is really good. It's pretty sweet. So for this, you can have one third of a cup for two points. For calories, it's 40 calories for a quarter cup. 
I also got some queso. So if you followed me in the very beginning when I first started my channel four years ago, you may remember I used to buy this all the time. I think you could have, back then, I wanna say you could have like two tablespoons for a point. And so we used to buy this all the time, but they kind of changed the flavor of it. So we were, haven't really been liking it lately, but I have been seeing some recipes that call for this. So I figured I'd go ahead and get this. For this, you can have one tablespoon for one point and 45 calories for two tablespoons. And then I got some green olives. I got three jars of those because I go through these quite often. For these, you're going to have six olives for one point. And for calories, come on, focus, 25 calories for four olives. I also got some roasted red bell pepper, zero points, and 30 calories for half a cup. And then I got three things of this New York white cheddar. This is my husband's favorite kind. This is five points for an ounce or 110 calories. I got three of them, so I will put one in the fridge and then I'll freeze the other two. You can freeze cheese, it freezes real well. I also got some feta. So for this kind, you can have one ounce for two points. And for the calories, it's 60 calories for the one ounce. What I usually do, I bought two of them, but I already got into one. When I got back from grocery shopping, the grandkids and my son and daughter-in-law were here. So I just kind of threw all the cold stuff in the fridge and the freezer. And then I made a huge salad because I was hungry. So what I usually do is I just cut it into little blocks. So this entire thing is eight ounces. So I cut it into 16 little blocks. And then that way I know each of these is like half an ounce. So each of these would just be one point. So if I just want a half an ounce, then I can take that or take two of them for a full ounce. So moving on, I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything here. I got some garlic hummus, a couple of things of those. So for these, it scans out it's two tablespoons for one point, but you can actually have, it's like two and a half tablespoons. It's 37 grams for one point. And then if you're counting calories, it's uh, 70, I think. Yeah, 70 calories for two tablespoons. We got some butternut squash over here. That's zero points. 50 calories for three quarters of a cup. I have some candy bars down here for my husband, but I thought I would share the points just in case any of you wanted them. These are really good. And you can have four squares of these for seven points. And for calories, 160 calories for four squares. And then he has these. These, you can have three, three pieces for eight points and calories is 180. So I got a couple of things of those and then one of the car caramel. And my favorite, favorite bread. I love this bread so much. This is the everything sourdough bread. And for this, when you scan it, it tells you that it's four points for a slice. But if you look at the back, it tells you, if I can get it straight, that one slice is 56 grams. But if you actually weigh out a slice, you're gonna find it's about half of that. So it's pretty much about two points for a slice of it. And it's 130 calories for the 56 grams. So here's where I read it. You can actually have 39 grams for two points. So I usually just weigh it out and then I just log it that way. I usually keep this in my drawer for a few days and then I just throw it in the freezer. And then when I want a slice, I usually just use one slice with like an egg or uh, avocado toast or cottage cheese in the morning. So I'll just take a slice out of the freezer and just pop it in the toaster. And then I also got some 40 calorie bread that my husband can use for sandwiches. This is one point per slice and 40 calories, obviously. I also got a dozen eggs, which this one is empty. I have them in my fridge and I use this one. I just keep this for when I make hard boiled eggs. That way I can just put those in there, but I didn't want to have, <laughs> I knew if I had this much on the table with the eggs sitting here, I was afraid I'd break them. And then I also got some English muffins. These are four points for an English muffin or 140 calories. I got three things of avocado chunks there. For these, you can have 32 grams for one point, and if you just want a little bit of it, you can have 10 grams of it for zero. And it's 190 calories per serving, 
which a serving is three quarters of a cup. So I got three of these because they're marked down right now and they say seasonal. So I think they might only sell these certain times of the year. And I really like their, I really like their avocado chunks. I also just grabbed a thing of ranch salad dressing just in case I need that for some kind of uh, recipes or anything. I got a thing of low fat cottage cheese, two points for half a cup. And if you're counting calories, 90 calories. Also got some light butter, one tablespoon for two points or 50 calories for a tablespoon. I got some non-fat Greek yogurt. I've been making smoothies lately, so I might uh, use this in smoothies, or I may make some homemade pizzas this week as well. For this, it's zero points on Weight Watchers and 90 calories for three quarters of a cup. And then I picked up a couple of these. I actually already ate one of these because I wanted to try it out. They are pretty good. There are four points for the entire thing. It comes with a little can of tuna salad. So it already has the like celery and carrots in it. And it comes with a little spoon so you can use it to spoon it on the crackers and some wheat crackers. So it's seven grams of protein and then it's 150 calories for both the crackers and the tuna salad. And then, like I said, four points. So I just thought that these would be good to just have at work, like keep them in my drawer. Or like if we're traveling or something, I thought these would be good for that. So I picked up two because I didn't know if I liked them. I wanted to try them. My husband doesn't like them. He's not a fan of like tuna salad, but I really like these. And then I also got, this is a mixture of raw almonds, pecans, and pistachio kernels. One quarter cup is four points and 170 calories. I got a great big thing of berry medley. Like I said, I've been having smoothies lately, so I got those for smoothies. This kind has, uh, looks like raspberries, actually. Yeah, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. And then when I cut up my pineapple, I'll actually add some of the pineapple in the bag as well. All right, then I got just a few things here that I don't normally get things like this, but I do like to have them just for, you know, if we need something last minute. There's all different ones. There's basil parmesan chicken, there's chicken penne primavera, and garlic chicken. We've had this one before. We love this one. The only thing is we said we'd the next time we had it, we would add some extra chicken breast. So we'll do that when we make it. But you can have one cup for only two points. And then the calories on this one are 150 calories for the cup. And then this one, you can have a cup for four points. And then this one is one cup for six points. And the calories on this one are 230 calories per cup. And calories on this one are 300 calories per cup. And then the last thing here I have are some crinkle cut French fries. For these, it's one point per ounce. So if you have two ounces, two points, three ounces, three points, and so on. And then it's 110 calories for a three ounce serving. So now let me share with you the meats that I got. All right, so this is everything I got for meats this week. So starting out down here, I got a whole chicken. Of course, points and calories on that just depends on what part of the chicken you have. I like to just throw these in the slow cooker and cook those. And then I also got some turkey kielbasa. For this, for a two ounce serving, it's three points and 90 calories. I got some chicken breast. These are zero points on Weight Watchers and 110 calories for four ounce portion, I believe. I also got three things of ground chicken. We pretty much use ground chicken for a lot of things. Tacos, it, a lot, anything that calls for ground beef, we use ground chicken quite often. For this, it's four points for four ounces. You can get the ground chicken breast if you like, but we just really like this kind. And 160 calories for four ounces. I also got some 96% lean ground beef, three points for four ounce serving and 140 calories. Back there, I got some chicken thigh fillets. For these, it's three points for a four ounce serving. And calories on this one are 160 calories for four ounces. I also got some 93% lean turkey. So I got the turkey breast from Walmart, which was zero. And then I got the 93%. This kind is four points for four ounces. And for calories, it is 160 calories. And then I also got these. So I always used to get a great big pork loin from Sam's Club and I would like cut it up into my own pork chops. 
but my vacuum sealer the last time I used it it was on the it was ready to die I need to get another one so I just didn't want a chance getting the pork loin and then not being able to do the vacuum seal with those so I got these these are four points for four ounces and calories on this are 190 calories and then here's the imitation crab meat that I'm going to use probably for the mushrooms. And, and honestly, I might not even make the mushrooms. I might just use this in salad. So for this, you can have four, it's four points for a half a cup and 110 calories. I got a couple things of oven turkey breast. This kind is zero points on Weight Watchers and calories is, gosh, that's small. 60 calories for two slices, which is two ounces. And I got some turkey pepperoni, which I forgot to scan that, so I'll have to scan that and see what it is. So the turkey pepperoni is two points for twenty-two slices. So two points for twenty-two slices or one point for 13 slices and then if you're counting calories 70 calories for 16 slices and then back here i have a rotisserie flavor turkey breast tenderloin these are so easy to make in the instant pot for these it's only two points for four ounce serving or 120 calories and then i got a couple things of salmon i got the cedar plank salmon they're on a cedar plank here just because i liked the cut of these better than the regular uh, the regular salmon. They're a little bit more expensive, but it, it's to me it's worth it for the cut So for these zero points on Weight Watchers and if you're counting calories 250 calories for four ounce serving I also got some chicken breakfast sausage for these It's one point for a link if you have two links then it does become three points and for calories It's 45 calories per link Got my husband's hard salami. This is three points for two slices or 120 calories for three slices. I also got some scallops, which we absolutely love, but gosh, I wish they weren't so expensive. So these are zero points on Weight Watchers and 100 calories for four ounces. And then I got some shrimp. This is zero points on Weight Watchers and 120 calories for four ounces. And finally, a couple things of turkey bacon. So we actually didn't used to be fans of turkey bacon, but we've really been enjoying it lately. So this kind is, I know there's some kinds, I want to say Great Value has some turkey bacon that you can have like two slices for one point, but this kind is one point per slice. So if you have two slices, it's two points. And then for calories on this, it's 30 calories per slice. So that's my entire haul this week. Pretty sure I hit everything. If you saw me miss something, put it down below if you need to know the points for it, and I'll let you know that. So between both hauls, the little bit I got from Walmart and the Aldi haul, $375. But this is all going to last. I probably, I won't have to go grocery shopping for probably over a month besides like things that I have to get throughout the week. You know, I usually have to restock on fruits and vegetables just because we go through those the most. But like all that meat, that's going to last us over a month probably. So that is my haul this week. I hope you all have a fantastic week. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.